Princess Diaries star Heather Matarazzo gave up LA for Michigan and is very grateful for T. I feel very grateful to have landed in Michigan Matarazzo said on TikTok. Michigan-based fans of the Princess Diaries should keep their eyes peeled for Lily Muscovitz at the Ann Arbor Art Fair. In a recent TikTok Heather Matarazzo who played Anne Hathaway's nerdy bestie in the beloved 2001 Disney flick and its 2004 sequel answered a question from a fan confirming that she is currently a Michigan resident. Yes it is true. I live in Michigan she said. Matarazzo who got her start at the age of 12 starring in 1995's dark indie comedy Welcome to the Dollhouse explained that after meeting and marrying comedian Heather Terman a Michigan native the couple made the decision about a year and a half ago to move to the state. We kind of looked at each other and we were like do we want to be in Los Angeles anymore? And the answer was a big fat no she said. I've only ever lived in New York or LA. So this was quite an experience for me and continues to be. Matarazzo may have left LA. But she hasn't left Hollywood. After bursting onto the scene in Welcome to the Dollhouse the actress landed a recurring role on the final season of ABC's Roseanne in 1997 and a starring role in CBS's Short Lived Now and Again while also appearing in films like The Devil's Advocate 54 Scream 3 and Saved. Since the move to Michigan she said she's also spent some time in Dublin filming a guest role in the upcoming second season of Netflix's Wednesday. Nevertheless Matarazzo said she's thrilled to now call Michigan home. I've gotten to go to the Ann Arbor Art Fair which I absolutely loved she enthused. I've gotten to check out some of the cider mills around this beautiful state which is incredible. Oh my god an apple cider donut? Yes please. Give me 10. I love that we can finally garden Matarazzo continued and our animals are so happy and I just love it here I love it so much. There's such an abundance of nature and everybody that I've met has just been so incredibly kind. At the same time the 41 year old is hesitant to call herself a Michi Gander just yet. I don't feel worthy of owning or honoring that title as of yet she said wondering if she might need a few more winters of shoveling snow before she can truly earn the label. Still she said I feel very grateful to have landed in Michigan. Very very grateful indeed.